The last run we did was punches and ballistas, and everyone said, hey, when are you going to do this legitimately punch only? So we are going to do it legitimately punch only this week. So that means no siege, no engineering, which honestly is potentially good news for us uh, because I don't know why, why I left that screen before I added more omens. Uh, it frees us up to take some other important perks. Now, I think... I think resilience is a surprisingly good one. I think sturdiness is a nice one. And then ah, the temptation is to take movement or armor because we're mainly wanting to tank the ballistas. But I actually think I actually think sadism is our last perk because I think opportunism is going to be good on everybody. So I think we're going to I think we're going to go with this configuration. Uh, unlike the last run, in order to kind of like even the playing field, I think we're going to go with we're going to go with base difficulty, and if it proves too easy, we can start cranking up the APOC moving forward. But uh, but this is going to be what we're going for. Our wish list of perks that we're looking for, we're we want some we want some specialists, we want some opportunists. We uh, we don't want defensive training. If, if we can get by without it, we would be much happier. Wow, what a what a jovial pair of elves we have here. Let's see what their see what their deals are. So right off the bat, I see a, I see a bonus action here. Sadly, it looks like it's coming from from the crystal amulet because this one is a thief, a brute, and a bruiser. We do not like the bruiser very much at all that's uh that's a negative but we like that his perk trees are relatively okay uh coagulation for some extra armor could be pretty good there is there is another question that we have not answered uh that i think i'm going to answer by saying yes it is okay but i think we're gonna i think we're going to allow spiky counter and poisonous as part of our setup but we'll, we'll see. I'll come back to him in a second. Next, we have Nico. We don't like the minus armor very much. Spiritual is not useful to us, and short is uh, taking away most of the benefit we got from Scout. So, Nico's pretty meh. We don't mind the assassination tree. Bodybuilder, we know to be good. Bodybuilder, organic armor, vampirism. We actually, okay, we like what Nico's got going on. And then we have Keon, who is a thug, athletic, and savage. YouTube has eaten your messages? That is insane, because the, the first two that I saw are you saying YouTube is back at it again. I'm telling you, YouTube chat is uh, is janky, and trying to build an integration for it was, uh, was the stuff of nightmares. Uh, let's see. So this hero here... We're not going to be double... I don't think we're going to be double poisoning. Wait, are you the stunny person? You are. We could go for like a weird septic shock poisonous build. Is that insane? It's a little insane. But it could be kind of fun. Hero's mana is transformed into resistance at a 25% rate. Blood Mage is not bad. I don't think Toxic Leech is particularly important. We could also grab Spiky Counter. I, I think it is one of those three options in Lustrous. <laughs> uh, my, my guess is this is going to go well, though. I think uh, I think we're going to be... We're going to be okay. Blessing is a pretty good one to pick up here. And then I think we just have to... But I think we just need to pick these ones up. Especially if we're going poisonous. Exploit weakness will be will be nice. Alright. That seems like a reasonable build. I think I skipped one perk, though. We got one more. I mean, when in doubt. Right? We're going to be we're gonna be focusing a bit on... Oh, and, and while I'm at it, let me strip these uh, people of their weapons. Wow, we got great draws on weapons for not being able to use them. So let's see, we did, uh, what is your name? Martius. We did Martius. What about you, Nico? 
So Nico, we we like coagulation, bodybuilder, vampire, organic. We like that whole that whole lineup. There is great. No specialist is a bummer. Lone wolf is okay. We could also try to get some damage out of magic fuel. Maybe maybe we like the magic fuel play more. Because we're going to get Runic Gift, which is going to be a nice bump to mana. And then we have one more here that we can't really spend on the two rank because we didn't get Specialist. So we could go back and get more mana there. And then we could grab Big Game Hunter and maybe Exploit again. Mm, resistance Penetration is probably better. But this looks, this looks decent. I think we can make something work there. It's kind of a weird build because we're going to be getting mana and health, but I think that's okay. And then our Athletic Thug friend here. Again, we got the Bodybuilder, which we like. We like Specialist. I think we can go Poisonous without without it being too much of a, a bother. No point in picking up mana growth. Leapfrog is pretty good here, I think. We'll grab Sadist and... We could grab Blood Magic just for the resistance bump. It is a non-zero resistance bump and we're not really bothered by it. It does give us flexibility on things like being able to blink which is probably the one we're picking up there. And then probably pick up Potent Toxins. I like Blessing, strangely enough, in this case. And we'll, we'll pick up Boom, but that's perhaps a little optimistic. All right, so let's, uh, let's check everybody's stats. So you have like eight block, 13, you have 21. You're, you're a bit over-indexed in block and you're a bit under-indexed in block. Just shift it around so everybody's sitting sitting somewhere in the 10 to 20 range. And then I think we are we are gonna let everybody come in again. Now this is on normal difficulty, so we are a lot more capable of uh, of chilling out. So it's tried the same run in across the obelisk again and reached 307 fury on Yager on turn one. Holy cow, what was what was his biggest hit on that run? That seems bananas. I, I don't think there's any way we're not taking panic, so I'm I'm really going to lean into the panic here. How did this guy take damage? Oh. Actually wait, how did that guy take damage? Gonna run over here and get this guy taken care of. We punching, Larius. 800k damage could have been higher. Hey, Jeff. All right. Now, our the expectation here. is that we will have we will we'll be plenty durable enough and and we're just going to we're just going to take the panic I think it just it just is what it is yeah we're we're super durable what with 13 block oh do you have no armor no you have 35 armor you are the one that is low on armor, though. So we need to be we need to be a little cautious with you just because you're you're taking more damage than expected. Oh, 
I'll, I'll pop this now too. No ballistas? Nah, we're we're gonna be okay. That's my that's my theory on the matter. Or maybe we won't. I'm I'm okay with that possibility too. But this uh, this first night is gonna be a little spooky. Wow, that was that was pain. The the presence of all these uh, all these big dudes is really uh, really getting my goat a little bit. The, this wave was very front loaded with splitters. I guess is the way that I would describe it. I kind of want. This is going to look a little weird, but I kind of want to flip these two around. Because our I want our more durable person up top. We uh, we did go with defensive perks, so the idea is very much that we will will do our work, but we're gonna we're not gonna be anywhere near an S rank on this one, and I am completely at peace with that. There was just there was no way. want to take the hit from that guy if I don't have to. And the panic overfloweth. We'll we'll lean a little more heavily on ruins than we did last time, I think. You really don't have much in the way of mana regen, do you? Not that that's something that we care about too badly here, but it is notably low. I so I'm I'm on the fence, Larius. I want I want your opinion on this. I I have I have mapped out some some builds here in which I am taking poisonous and spiky counter, but there's also a part of me that feels like it's it's not the it's not the theme of the run and maybe i should uh i should restrain myself and uh and forego any type of non punch based damage entirely so i would hate for there to be any asterisks Yeah, it, it won't. It won't help. I mean, it could help a little bit with the with the uh, the dryads. I don't want to completely discount the uh, the value of poisonous, right? We could leave a dryad almost dead. Pure punch will be kind of hard, but I guess you could do it. Well, that's kind of the point, though, right? Like that's why we're that's why we're here. We're here for hard. <laughs> Let's see. I can use. Use that into that. You're going to need to move next time. But yes, pure punch, pure punch would be difficult, right? It means that it means that we don't have an easy solution for the boomers. Cuz like poisonous is is the boomer solution, right? Like if we if we go with oh, I did not expect you to make it there. It's not a big deal, but if we if we take poisonous then we can we can punch the boomers down to relatively low health and we can and we can poisonous them to to finish the job which well not well not a ter it's a great way to deal with them but it it does feel a little bit like not the essence of the run See, I'll grab the block there. Bread and butter, you say?
Yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm I'm a little torn. So the the other thing that people may remember from my Lakeburg excursion, the last time I did a punch only run, is that let's see, are you moving? You're not moving. Is that the the poisonous didn't end up playing that big a role at the end of it. Like our, our heroes were so chonky that it didn't really matter. So there's there's a temptation on my part to be like, let's if it's it's if it's not going to make that huge difference, maybe we just go for it. No, I think I think bread and butter was right. I think you, you mean like things that are classically in our wheelhouse, basically, right? Okay, that that mountain is very good to see. That that gives us some some flexibility. Now this is interesting. So we do have this we have this interesting question of now that we are now that we aren't building ballistas, how do we leverage our corpses? I guess let's do level ups while we're while we're here. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to I'm going to say no no spiky counter no poisonous. I want I want something a bit more I want something a bit more like not cent not central but like a bit more pure for this run. Fifteen percent crit for the first hit versus that. We'll go with that as our plan. And because we're picking this up, we can pick up resistance reduction. Drowning in wealth, flipping non-bodybuilder heroes. I don't know. So if you remember from from the previous attempt or from the previous run, uh, Jonko was our was our strongest hero, and he was not a bodybuilder. Interestingly enough, specialists remains insane. Do I feel like leapfrog is better than sprint? I kind of feel like sprint is better. All right, let's let's grab that. I'll grab coagulation here and coagulation here. We're going to come back for mana growth later, but let's see. Okay. We do want to pick up some some damage traits as well and some resist. Are you one of the you're not taking exploit weakness? Okay, so we don't want that. I I'm hard pressed not to take the big damage here. I think we just need a bit more. And then were you a coagulation? You are a coagulation. So that means that we could pick up some daily health regen for a nice armor buff if we want it. The reliability is pretty good here too. He was. He was a crit monster, and he was an opportunist tunism monster. Those were those were his uh, his characteristics. Let's see. Are you're picking. You're not picking that up either. We always take opportunism because it's just such a huge boon for us. Sure, I'll take. I'll take a bunch more crit. That's fine by me. And then you are taking this. So we we love. We love resistance reduction. We'd like to see it at, at higher volumes than that. You also have coagulation. So I'll just grab this just to start getting our armor up. Our armor is going to be the primary way that we deal with bulkies. And then I am going to roll this. You're a bodybuilder. You're not a bodybuilder. Resistance is always good, too. Okay. So I think... I think we're going to end up... Are we going to end up moving the shop again? I think we do. I can't type any day, so I, I feel your pain. Let's see. So we're just going to build... We're going to build our houses. Actually, let's... let's uh, See, the problem is I think I'm going to take items here. Because let me think. Like, if I look in the shop right now... Right, so these are worth 10 to 11. So if we get three items, we're getting like 30 gold from that. 
That's actually not as much as the 72 gold. I wonder when we hit a break point. So right now, if we want to get workers going, which I think is what we want to do, we do still take this, even though the materials are relatively a waste. And then we'll demolish this ruin. This ruin's going to be hard to defend, but we may, we may try to get to the point where we can salvage that one. But I don't, I don't think we're even going to do that. Let's see. All right, I think I want to, I want to get my, my layout sorted here. So let's. There's no way we're getting back up to the appropriate number of workers, I don't think, to do a four. So I'm going to demolish this. And then if you are, you're three by one. So the place that you would be located is here, 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 and here. Then there's a space, and then we can put a house right here. Oh, I was one off, but I think this is still correct. And with, 80, with 86 gold, actually, we can get up to four workers and we can salvage this. So let's do that. And then I kind of want to just rebuild these houses. How much does a shop cost to build? 55. All right, let's just, let's just get the shop in the place we want it to be. And then we're broke, which is fine. So we will, well, let's finish demolishing this stuff. And if that house gets destroyed, it's not ideal, but we're going to end up moving it anyways. All right, let's see. Gosh, there's a temptation just to destroy this now. Nah, it, it'll it may survive. Get rid of all these barricades. Okay. On to night number two. 10 gold per tier. It's something like that. Yeah. All right. This is looking very reasonable. We really want to lure them in because I want to get plus 100 armor. That's not bad. Right now, this side is looking like the side that needs the needs the extra love, so we'll put that over there. Uh, actually, I don't know. There's gonna be there's a lot of uh, a lot of enemies on the board for uh, for being a APOC one run right now. Now, someone is gonna someone has some resistance reduction. Let's let's figure out who that is. Zero, zero, zero. Just kidding. No one has any resistance reduction. All right. All right. We would have liked to have seen a bit more. We're not... The panic is coming. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> That's okay, though. Defend this house as best we can. I missed a barricade over there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah. 
my my plan to avoid panic was uh, was woefully uh, woefully misinformed. This guy might have a clear line to get pretty far in. I'm running this guy out of mana. I should probably... I should probably switch my... Uh, switch the person who has the the plus one energy amulet because it's uh it's quite the mana drain i think we need to take a bit more in terms of defensive stats shops gonna need protecting but i think we need to we need to retreat over here a bit or we're just gonna I'm just going to end up having a bad time, I think. Somebody's got to just punch this guy just to slow him down. Oh, you're out of action, so that's not great. Goes fast. All right. So we're in... We're in damage control now. Wow, you really... Are lacking. I need to get I need to get someone over here just because we're gonna be uh We're playing with fire on the uh, on the, the last spell right now. And I really want I wanna lure this uh this elite way way in. We're gonna make a human wall. I'm a little worried we're gonna lose the shop on this one. So that covers that covers that. This house is probably not long for the world. Man, we're sneaking in. Oh, about to have an earthquake here. So, hang on to your hats. My uh, my Google just informed me. Okay, you got a block there. standing there. I think you're best off here. All right. Now let's see. You have... All right. You only have one action point left. Hang in there, house. Hang in there, last spell also. This is harrowing. Guy's still moving one, so I think we need to hit him a second time. Ah, oh, this guy's. Hmm. The elite's a little troubling.
Yeah, definitely possible. We're gonna do it. But our uh, our last spell is is uh, definitely tanking for us a bit more than was uh, was initially anticipated. But we're gonna make it work. Maybe on our first try. There may be a bit of trial and error here. I would not put it past us. Let's see. How how's the shop doing? Shop seen better days. Now. Unfortunately, I wanted to stop the, uh... I wanted to stop the Elite before it got next to things. But that did not happen. The stream has no audio for me on Twitch. Uh, it wasn't like that on the channel I just came from, so I assume it's you. I I do not know for sure, but uh, but I suspect if that were the case, we would uh, I, I'd have a bunch of people yelling at me right now. So okay, so at this point, goal has got to be to protect this house. But also, how's the last spell doing? 152? It's not great. I probably shouldn't have done that that way. Let's see. So you... We're going to end up we're going to end up taking one more hit. The last spell has uh, has seen better days. Well, yeah, because you're you're gonna need to take this hit. Oh, I just got another earthquake alert. So far, I've not felt any earthquake. And then I think I think I move you up here to try and just distract people a bit. Okay. All right. We have we have stabilized. That was a nasty hit, but but we lost no buildings, which I think is the uh, is the the good news. Alright, let's see, if you, whoops, if you move to here, yeah, that, that blocks. There you go, current state of the game. Yep, this is fine, everything is on fire. Sounds about right. Sounds very on brand. Hey, Ant- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. the The fact that we kept the buildings in one piece is uh, is nothing short of miraculous. Where are you moving to? Let's see. Uh, technically, this spot and this spot means that he will never hit our building. But I think also if I just move to here, he could technically walk around, but then he'll hit this guy. So I think that's fine. Hey Chico, I, I apologize that I uh, I am uh, I am unilingual. I only speak English, but uh, I see TLS and I know exactly what you're talking about. So uh, I hope you're playing the last spell on Twitch, and that's what you're saying. We're we're warming them up, Mindbuster. We're warming them up. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, that was a fine night. No big deal, right? No big deal at all. And look at this. Look at what we got going on here. I think I'm going to try to keep the houses alive. That might prove difficult. Uh, let's see. Wow. We got 
we got a lot to do here. So I need to consolidate these houses in. That's that's the thing that we want to do. But we have we have one, two, three mountains, which is insane. We could get quite the gear influx. Okay, let's 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 pivot to gear. See what we can do here. We're gonna need to upgrade one of these two, which is expensive. Ah, oh, awesome! I'm I'm so glad to hear it, uh, uh, Chico. Where we unironically buy more last spell mages? I mean, can you even do that? I don't think we can. We're stuck at a uh, 123 health for the remainder of this run, which is gonna be uh something. It is going to be something. Okay, so I'm I'm just trying to strategize here. I think given that these are small waves, we can leave these houses. I don't really want to upgrade this one. <sighs> Alright, we're we're gonna we're gonna do the consolidation, even though it's a little expensive. We're we're gonna consolidate our consolidate our houses like so and like so. And then we're going to upgrade this one. That gets us to the point where we can we can get our three mountains and get our elite. So that's that's a big that's a big gear influx for sure. But these three are are going to need to do the work now cuz we're uh we we've mortgaged the possibility of doing much more. I will repair the shop and repair the house, which basically makes us broke, but we'll sell some gear. All right, let's do level ups really quickly. Bit more resistance on you. I don't mind it. We do need more accuracy. I don't really want to grab crit, so I'll do that. And then with two, we go with those two. Opportunism is like our number one stat. If we get nothing else, what's what's your deal? You do have coagulation, so daily health regen could be reasonable to get our armor up. All right, that was a pretty good level up. Let's do uh, let's do Nico here. So Nico is picking up bodybuilder, so we want to get him some some of that, and then fourteen percent damage is fine. I don't think we... Uh, so if we don't take either of those, then we can take XP and first hit crit or lone wolf. Both of which I think are better. As much as I like the idea of going for this play, if we're not spending the mana, I don't think it's worth it. Lone wolf is the better pickup here, and that means getting the XP is going to be good for, for leveling. Let's see. You are not taking exploit weakness, so unfortunately resistance reduction is a hard sell for us. I'll take the opportunism, even though it's not a big opportunism. I'll grab some XP game, and it'll help us with uh, with recruiting more people later. I'll take that, and I'll take damage. And then there's a temptation here. If we're picking up some resistance reduction... We can take Exploit Weakness, and we'll get more than 50% reduction. So we can actually outweigh Sheer Power if we do it that way. I've never thought about that before, but that's actually really interesting. Blood Magic blood magic is not that important on punch-only runs, though, I will say. <laughs> it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a decorative quirk, as it were. Let's see. Big Opportunism is good. Do you have coagulation? You don't. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like rolling deep there, but it is what it is. We'll take the crit. That's fine. You could certainly use... You could certainly use accuracy. You also need some defensive stats. And you're a bodybuilder. This is this is a tough... A tough selection for us. I think, I think damage is the most important thing here, even if we miss some. All right, so we did that. So now let's uh, let's see what we got for goodies here. I don't think we're gonna get quite as much money as we would have otherwise. That's not bad for a blood mage, or for a someone who has. 
Yeah, I actually like this Fey Amulet. Run is, run is a good skill to pick up as well. That's good enough. <laughs> They're offering me an early warp crystal. It's really hard to say no. We're going to grab that. Shields are exceptionally good for us. Wow, three propagation bounces on that is interesting. We can pick up shields in other places, so... Like, a bunch of health helps out our bodybuilders quite a bit. Opportunism, health, health regen, and mine. I don't, I don't want to take minus accuracy right now. We're just, we're just trying to buff up kind of our core stats. This is a reroll. Night, that night shield is exceptionally nice. To dual wield shields for a total of four shields, that that is the dream. <laughs> the, you start to get diminishing returns around ten shields. I think is the uh, is the rumor. This is a great helm. I already looked at those three. Those three are I'm considering a reroll. This is a better reroll though. Nice boots. That this helmet actually isn't bad either, but that helm is really nice. I think we I think we have too many helms. But I'm still gonna grab that one. Alright, so Keon, let's start. So you're a you're gonna be a a BBB. That stands for Bodybuilder Boom. Because I think those are the most uh, useful to remember traits. And then I need to look at who you are. You, sir, are going to be... You're going to be... We don't need that anymore. Blessing is pretty good. So I'll call this... This hero is going to... I took first blood. Are you, like, negative a bunch of crit? Not really. So... C R R for this one. I'm I'm noting the people who I want to take resistance reduction on. Olive has joined the chat, and then you are a bodybuilder. B B R R. These these names are getting a little ridiculous. I I apologize, but. We have to remember weird things with these heroes. All right, so now now we can assign some gear. So you're a bodybuilder. So that means that this is great for you, especially since you're a little squishy. Give you that. We're not we're not in love with that. Then this is a bunch of health and damage. I don't mind I don't mind giving you that. I'm going to give the Night Shield to our other uh, Blood Mage Bodybuilder along with that amulet. Then Decent Pants there, Decent Pants there. And then what is what is your deal? I'll give you, give you that helm, which we like. That's an okay chest piece. This hero is very lackluster right now. So we'll we'll see if we can pick up some some more things to improve. But yeah, the actual cash return was not great there. These paladin greaves are nasty. I also kind of want this shield because anytime we can pick up a shield, those are basically free slots for us right now. How good are these pants? With the minus accuracy, they're not they're not exceptional. So I'll grab the shield. Give that to our our weakest link at the time at the time of recording. And that looks good. We have a little bit of money left. I could I could do a reroll looking for another shield. There's always a shield in the shop. I think we're going to get enough corpses that this is not... We don't need to leave that up, but we'll we'll roll the dice with that one. And then one thing we can do here 
is we I, I think just because we're we're flirting a bit with danger here and we have the materials I'm just gonna build a ring around the base so that we're not gonna get any kind of like incidental hits and then I'll get our uh, our warp gates up just in case we need them okay so I think we're going to have enough to buy one more shield. Okay, I, I have been proven a liar by the game. Apparently there is not always a, uh, a shield in the shop. The more you know. Let's see, does anyone... Does anyone need a better pair of pants here? These pants are pretty decent. The helm is, is meh. Yeah, we'll grab the pants for, uh, for Martius. Try and get him... A little stronger. And now you're at 16 and you're at 16. But you have 20% resistance and you have 37% resistance. All right, we'll do that. Okay, on to the next night. Upward and onward. That last.